Hello and welcome to you, another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm doing a new news video on the oh, slash vlog type video. Um, I've just been to um, not Sheffield Comic Con this time around but um, different one. I've been to Keithley Comic Con uh, mainly because primarily it's a hell of a lot closer to uh, where I live um, and that than Sheffield Comic Con so that is extremely helpful. Um, it, was the chip the the chips <laughs> tickets even my head hurts the tickets were uh cheaper by like three quid and also Sylvester McCoy was going there and well although he is going to Sheffield Comic Con uh and that in August uh obviously you know it's March eighteenth of March March eighteenth or however you want to go about doing that but um. Yeah, it's the 18th of March, uh, today of this recording, and, well, why wait longer to see the same person when you could, you know, not, <laughs> you know? And, um, so yeah, I've got his autograph, uh, and I got a picture with him, and that was awesome, and I've got a bunch of other stuff here today to show you. So, first of all, I'll get the t-shirt out of the way. This is becoming a bit of a Comic-Con tradition now, at this point, to get a, uh, t-shirt a t-shirt <laughs> ideally he says like uh, that's not a lot of t-shirts but um uh you've got rick and marty but then the o in marty is done in like a portal type style and then you've got like marty there uh and then a portal and then a sort of blue figure with the blue hair so that's rick with his portal gun and a another portal which just makes sense to me and i was just like you know what that is an amazing t-shirt and for 10 quid extra large 10 quid t-shirt bargain really so gonna move that out of the way get that done and dusted with um next up we have the little shy guy little doohickey oh he's so cute um i got both him and uh the next oh, the next figure i have here are both uh both nintendo mario and as I say, a Nintendo Mario sort of figure, and a, as I say, a shy guy. Uh, how much? Uh, just two quid. Quid each, so thought, why the hell not? You know, super duper adorable and small and all nice. Uh, and as you are already aware, ideally, um, I'll be putting them up there with the rest of my sort of Mario figurine weird stuff <laughs> um, and that yeah and uh, next up we have the war doctor pop vinyl i got a war doctor pop vinyl amazing i yeah finally got a war doctor pop vinyl um yeah ecstatic about that can't wait to open that uh, i know there are some people who might in the comment sections be like oh my god ah, he's opening it ah, and all that because it's heresy to open a uh Pop vinyl, but yeah, there was also the Oven Doctor slash Mr. Clever, um, and a bunch of other pop vinyls and that, like Sarah Jane Smith and so on. But uh, yeah, the War Doctor was the one that I wanted the most out of the bunch that were there, so I have a War Doctor pop vinyl now. Um, yeah, that's 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 cool. So I'm probably gonna open that when uh, I finish recording this video. So yeah, awesome pop vinyl. There was at least two um, uh, vendory type stalls with just all of their, you know, sort of table covered in, you know, rows upon rows of pop vinyls. These things are just insane there. You know, uh, if you ever want to buy uh, pop vinyls and don't know where to go, uh, try and find a Comic-Con because th they are there in mad stock, in mad, you know, amounts. Uh, action figure-wise, I got a Weevil. Um, yeah, another Weevil. I think this is either my second slash maybe third Weevil now. I think I have two already, so yeah, this being me being really good at maths, this should be the third Weevil that I've got, and I think this was for four quid, yeah. Um, unboxed, both these figures are unboxed, so um, came as they are here now, um, and had little tags which I've just taken off for the sake of this video. Um, so yeah, just a normal ordinary weevil really yeah hashtag normal weevil <laughs> let's get that trending on twitter please and um, so yeah um not gonna review it but just kind of need it for well i don't need it but kind of wanted it for a uh, certain figure of entry type episode that i might be doing later down the line spoiler alert <laughs> 
you know. Um, then I have here a new series from Taran. Um, you know, they're kind of just an army builder-y type figure. And um, I don't know why, but I like buying figures from Comic-Con. Even though they're not amazingly in mint condition because they're out of the box. I just like it. It's nice, you know. It saves them going in a landfill. I know that sounds really pathetically stupid and like I'm sentimental or that I have some sort of personal connection to a piece of plastic but um I don't know I just like the idea of serving you know a lot of plastic going into waste I guess uh i.e landfill and um also you know it's an army builder you know it's it's a warrior type race so you know the more the merrier I guess and uh yeah and I like the fact that it's just sort of your average normal sort of Santara and you know warrior like you know normal one so it's not one with a helmet offer um there was a jadoon but uh unlike last year where i got a jadoon without the helmet off uh that jadoon did have the helmet off so i but i already have one of those so um but yeah so i got this one but this one was three quid so this was a cheaper figure than the weevil for some reason the weevil is more expensive very strange i know um Next up, we have two single-issue comic books that are Harley Quinn, because I adore Harley Quinn. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I liked her in the uh, uh, Suicide Squad, but or the actress who played the, her in the Suicide Squad. I've um, just about sort of got into the single-issue type Harley Quinn-esque uh, new stuff, the New 52 stuff, uh, recently-ish, you know, just sort of about... A bit, maybe a month before Suicide Squad was a thing, in terms of actually being a film on the big screen and all that. So yeah, Harley Quinn loved the cover, you know, and all that. Not going to be reviewing that on the channel or all, but yeah, uh, that was five quid. So as was this one as well. Uh, the Doctor is in Harley Quinn, uh, but yeah, I like the cover of this one, you know. Um, but again, this was also five quid, but instead of the guy giving us, uh, making us pay ten quid, uh, he didn't realise that we had both these and, uh, thought we only had the one, so he was like, uh, five quid please. So we got them both for five quid, so, <laughs> do kind of still feel bad though, if I'm being completely honest, but, yeah, um, nice cover, really nice cover. But yeah, so I've got two single issue comic books. Uh, then we got a Prince that I got. Uh, this seems to be becoming a uh, tradition at Comic-Con to get uh, print artwork type stuff from Comic-Con. You've got Paul McGann looking amazing, um, as usual, in a print and that. And the guy there did his own art, you know, he paint, hand-painted them himself, so it looks immaculate and amazing. I can't remember how much these were. Uh, he's got, like, his contact stuff in the back. Can't remember how much these prints were, and of course you have Tom Baker, uh, which is odd because it'll be odd because this will be the second uh, eighth Doctor print I've got, whereas with Tom Baker, I've only got the first one, which is this one really. Uh, I do like this one though; his face looks so mesmerizing with those curls and that grin and the fedora in his hand, and I'm just being like, ah, oh, yes, well. I see. Although, what is odd is the fact that in this, it looks like he's season 12 costume, and yet, um, and yet he seems to have his waistcoat on instead of his, uh, instead of his, um, sweater vest, which is weird because on the action figure he has a sweater vest, and I'm sure that I've seen the costume so many times on Google Images and whatnot, and in magazines and that, uh, that, uh, it should be a sweater vest and not a, uh, not a wears coat, so, and I do like how, like, his coat looks like it's bleeding, which is nice. Very sadistic of me to admit that that looks nice, that it's, like, bleeding, but you have the same effect with McGann's coat, I guess. Which is way brown, which it shouldn't be, um, it should be the pole green, I guess, but, um, yeah, really good, really nice, I guess, um, sort of print. So, yeah, I got the McGann and the, uh, Tom Baker. Can't remember how much both those were actually, but yeah. Uh, then we come on to the last thing, which is the Regenerations box set. In which I can do this. Oop. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Uh, well, then this shouldn't take too long, but I can find the right page. That wasn't it. Yep, there you go. 
uh, Mr. Sylvester McCoy was there, so we have Matthew Goodluck, Sylvester McCoy, and then number seven there, which is just awesome. You know, it was it was it was really nice. You know, he was just like, oh, I love this book set, and I love the picture of me, <laughs> and, and that I like the picture uh, there, and that, and then he was sort of asking, so what what is it? The like are the episodes those those discs and that, and I was like, yeah, they're um they you know the the ones that all the doctors have sort of regenerated in and that so yeah lovely lovely little chap um and that didn't really get much time to talk to him or anything like that but uh that was because it was actually quite packed and all busy and warm and whatnot so but uh i did get a picture with him or i did get actually three because my mum quickly snacked uh, a bunch, or snagged, yeah, a bunch, um, and then she even caught, like, a picture of him signing the actual box set, which is awesome, uh, brilliant little guy, uh, yeah, and then I got a bunch of pictures with cosplayers and a Dalek from Genesis of the Daleks, which is awesome, because obviously cosplaying as Tom Baker, well, you know, it made sense to get a picture with the, uh, Genesis of the Daleks Dalek, <laughs> but yeah, brilliant day out, brilliant stuff, you know, from, a few prints to single issue comic books and whatnot to uh, pop vinyls and action figures and and uh, t-shirts and all that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.